So here we have our F10 our OBD2 gauge. So it's a full color screen a gauge. Now easy to mount, obviously pretty like thin. Um, obviously can go on the dash or can go on the windscreen. The screen here can uh, like flip. A frame like mount pad comes with a spare one as well. Just in case you need to uh, like try again or remove it. A toggle switch here. On off switch here. And on the back here, you got two switches. I so said one comes from the OBD2 port, uh, that's the light sensor, and the other one is if you want to run like another one of these gauges. So, for like example, if you wanted to have like one showing revs and one showing coolant temp, you could run two next to each other, or even up to three or four. So, that's the gauge there. A good handy way to get our data out of your engine ECU and easy to see. Obviously, that plugs into the OBD2 port, plugs into the, to the unit. A cleaning cloth. So majority of cars your OBD2 port's going to be down under the steering wheel above the pedals here. And you're just looking for that port there, a 16 pin port. Um, obviously OBD2 should be in Australia 2007 uh, plus cars. Um, so basically what you need to do is like, find that port should be reasonably easy to uh, find and you have to be able to like to access it from like uh, no tools and that uh, cable is going to like a uh, plug into here and what we want to do is we want to like, test that the device is going to work so what we suggest you uh, do before you actually install it is just obviously plug this USB-C plugs into the into like, the OBD uh, like A port here and the other end is plugged into our, our OBD2 port in there now we do suggest you just uh, like, test it before you install it just to make sure you're getting the data you want to see coming through um, because every car is a bit different uh, de uh, depending on what like OBD2 data is going to come in. So obviously you've got the on off button on the side there. You can leave that uh, like on uh, all the time or turn on and off of the car. So you can see there we have some uh, data coming through already. Now if you click down, it's going to uh, take you through uh, these different screens. So RPM, uh, like oil pressure if your car will bring it through. Uh, volts, uh, boost, oil temp, water temp, vacuum, and then back to the start. And if you flick up, it takes you through like these different gauges where like, it shows you a bit more data. Like, obviously, you've got a uh, temp in the middle, uh, uh, you've got like, RPM on the outside, and you've got a uh, speed there in the very center. Again, that's basically like, the same. You've got temp down the bottom, RPM. Again, it's basically the same. Again, it's the same. And then that's they're giving you quite a few different ones on one screen and back to the start now just start up the car there um, so you can see here what like data is coming through so obviously if I touch the accelerator there you can see like the revs are going up if you could see the rev gauge there and not like, the one on top probably easier if I show like this so you can see the two gauges So you can see the reaction speed is uh, pretty good there. Now, what I was saying before is, see the oil pressure like zero. So uh, this car doesn't have that sensor coming in uh, for the OBD2 to pick that data up. So it's only going to be in models. And we can try and help you find this out, but it is a little bit hard. And that's why like, sometimes if it's, like, if it's like a certain thing you want to see, we just say, hey, we'll send it out to you, you test it. See if it comes in, if it's all good, keep it. If not, just like, so, like send it back as new. Um, Obviously the volts are going to come in, pretty standard on all of them, obviously boost will come in. Oh, the oil temp comes in on this one, obviously water temp, pretty common. And that's it, and then obviously back to these different screens. You can see all the ones, all the, all the, like, the data coming through. So you can see it's a pretty, a pretty easy to see device. Um, and your choice like mounting it obviously you can like sort of like a dash mount it or you can put it on the windscreen like this um so you can go uh, down the bottom like that or up the top here or wherever you want to put it and you can uh, flip the screen so now if you want to get to like the oh, oh that's obviously the clock if you want to get the you've got to press and hold of the middle button and you come into like the menu here so you got a few things here english uh, buzzer on off Flips screen, obviously, so that uh, like flips a, a screen if you're gonna uh, mount it on your um, uh, windscreen. So 
So obviously, the buzz is off by default because it's pretty annoying. Um, you got time. Making sure you can see that all right there. Uh, minute, uh, your brightness level. Speed coefficient, so this is if your speed's off a bit. So uh, for example, you might have bigger tires or something on. Um, so you can actually like, adjust the speed uh, to see what the actual speed is. Fuel coefficient is, uh, is like the same if you need to like adjust that. Uh, so that's when like the unit will like sort of uh, like, uh, boot up and shut down automatically, and like shut down the voltage when it uh, drops below uh, thirteen point two. So if you have like an on and off car, you uh, might have to like adjust it a bit like lower, or change the shutdown mode so it isn't on a low a low voltage to turn off. So those basically all your functions in there. Alarm settings, so you can just uh, like set like a beeper to remind you for. A fatigue one, a water temp, you can have a different speed alarms here, like a low battery, high battery, and that's about it. So this is going to beep and like flash when those like figures are hit. Uh, like settings, obviously, uh, like Celsius and kilometers are common here. Um, you can clear other like, engine fault codes, but you can't read what they are, like, actually are, so it's a bit of like, a limitation there. Um, and you can run a brake test and uh, accelerator uh, test on here as well and like long press again to get out of there and then go back through all your gauges here so you can see it's pretty responsive to that that's basically everything so the only other, other thing you can do is you can um, that's the light sensor there is you can uh, run like a second gauge like a second uh, a gauge of it so you can run a few gauges so if you wanted to have like oil pressure a coolant temp and, this, and like the same thing and have these all lined up on your dash that is possible to do as well and again it's a flat a flat cable here so a very easy just to obviously uh, tuck into your trim here so that's obviously how you'd install it so you obviously like tuck it in there and like run the cable up the side there um, so you can see a little bit it becomes quite hidden once you tuck it in there and run it up